I have had my PlayStation Network profile for eight years now. In that time, I've achieved exactly two Platinum Trophies. Christian, the guy I do the socket with, has had his account for eight years. In that time, he has somehow gotten 53 Platinum Trophies. I cannot abide by this. I must do the unthinkable and follow in Christian's footsteps. I must plat his plats. I must chase Christian across this strange platinum landscape. But I can't do it alone. I need a mentor, a visionary, someone who can lead me through this journey. I need a trophy swami, a trophy guru. So I went out and got one. His name is Christian. He has 53 platinum trophies. I begin my journey with Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. How long ago did you platinum this game? Like years and okay, years? Okay, so Rapture, I platinumed last year. A lot of these trophies involve just looking at something. Yeah, that's something that is wishy-washy. I hate it. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. No, I it think... doesn't feel good at all. Yeah, because you want you want like a click or something yeah, you want to happen to know that you did. Yeah. Whereas this, yeah, it's got this wishy-washy look at every map or whatever, and you kind of just, I kind of just went over to it and then stared at it for a little bit and yep. then moved the stick all around it. Yep. Just to yep. make sure yep. I hit whatever whatever move trigger it, it was. Move back yep. a little bit. Move up to yep. it and then. Um. Yeah, that's that's bad. That's not a that's not a good trophy. But I mean, there aren't that many maps. But it's also so, books. It's also books. Yeah, that part feels gross too. Train and some numbers. of the books are far away. And then you've got to like kind of zoom in on them and move around to make sure that you got the trigger there. Yeah. Or there's books that count and there's books that don't count. But some of the books that count are upside down, so you can't see what they look like. This is a really. I don't know how anyone would platinum this game without a trophy guide. Yeah. Good I question. Mean, I assume you used one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't did. know why you wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there's oh. not really a good reason not to. Yeah. And I was reading that apparently some people like miss a radio or something mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. end up getting to this point and they lost and then they just lose all their resolve. That's what I would have done. I probably would have Yeah. just not tried again. <laughs> no, I really like this game. It's just I feel like the trophies actively work against it except for the completionist which I think actually enhances the experience because you're actually if you follow a guide anyway, you're experiencing mm -hmm. the story in full, which is, yeah. I think, what you're meant to do, because otherwise this is mm -hmm. kind of a confusing plot to follow. Yeah, that's that's an interesting thought. I, I tend to feel and think that trophies are more of an afterthought than they are anything else. I always feel like trophies are more or less put in after, after a game is done, and sure. then they... They probably have like a person or a couple, oh, a small team coming up with little trophies that they want to put in, so they don't really. I feel like there's no deeper underlying philosophy in a lot of these. Yeah. yeah. That's that's just kind of what it feels like to me. They were probably sitting there and thinking, okay, what's something that we can have someone get a trophy for in this game? Yeah. And you could tell they were kind of grasping because you've got ones where you just sit there and do nothing, and ones where you walk backwards for 50 seconds. Yeah, that one was weird. Yeah, and there's not a whole lot in here. But the, I feel like the back or not the backtracking, the open-ended one and the radio one, they're just so specific, mm -hmm. where they're making you experience certain parts of the game, but avoiding entirely, like you have to avoid everything else in the game in order for the trophy yeah. to pop. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now when you when you say it that way, that does make it interesting. Yeah, because. With open ended, especially, yeah, you you have to overtly skip the right. bulk of the game in order to get to the <laughs> right. end. So, yeah, that tro that trophy in general is a very strange trophy to be putting in this game, and I have no idea what kind of train of thought they were going down for that one. Because, in a theoretical situation where that's the first trophy someone gets, mm -hmm. this game is they walk through a village and then go <laughs> into a bunker. Yeah. And then I. Yeah, and then things happen that I guess I won't spoil, but it wouldn't make yeah. any sense. No, it wouldn't. So Yeah, so I guess with that trophy, they were probably, the rationale was, okay, here's a fun little thing that we can put in there that most people won't get. And then most people didn't, based yeah. on the trophy yeah. percentages, but... Yeah, because you don't play this game to beat it or to overcome any challenge. You play it to 
listen to no. people talk for right. four hours. Which I guess is my other <laughs> my other point I wanted to ask you about. Is this was this a fulfilling trophy for you, based on the fact that all of it is being in a place or looking at something? Like, there's no skill involved in this platinum. I feel like it's a time investment. Yeah, platinum. yeah. For the most part, it is a time investment, so I didn't feel up, the gratification of overcoming like any fire-breathing dragon. Really, but... Here, wishes are said to come true when a penny is tossed into the bubbling water. And the baby animals are not neglected. This is the animal nursery, where the very young animals take milk from baby bottles. Even a gangling llama baby noses in for his share. Um, getting a platinum in a game, or getting all the trophies, is just understanding and knowing the fact that I can be done with this game forever. Yeah. This, that... <laughs> I, I've basically done yeah. everything that the developers want me to do with this game, and so I can be done. Okay. See, I I have a different mindset, and okay, I'd like to know if this yeah. strikes you ever. But I feel like there's this like melancholy that comes with platinum, platinuming a game, because really? you've okay. basically wrung this game dry. And what it says to me is there is nothing, like there's no mystery to it anymore. Like, okay, I completed, I got the completionist trophy in this game, which means that I have seen everything this game has to offer. So if <laughs> I hadn't gotten that trophy, there would be this sense that, okay, if there's this mystery, maybe maybe there's more to it here. But the trophies tell me, no, you've seen it all. Yeah. So this is the story we told. I don't know. There's something satisfying about getting that platinum, but also it feels kind of sad in a way. And that's every mm. platinum I've gotten, which is, you know, three, but yeah. okay. I don't know. Okay. I feel like maybe you're not supposed to think about this so much.